Welcome to our Sticky Truth webisode series. This episode features an in-depth look at developing a bond with etchable glass ceramics. We look forward to sharing 3M's recommendations and insights about dental cementation with glass ceramic material. Today we will hear from two members of the 3M team, Jeffrey Morris, Scientific Affairs Manager, and Dr. Lois Durst, who is our 3M staff dentist. My name is Dr. Lois Durst, and I am the staff dentist at 3M. With me today is Jeffrey Morris, one of the engineers in the 3M Oral Care Solutions Division. We have been talking about all the crown and bridge restorative choices that are available to dentists today and how confusing it can be to know which material to choose and then which cement to use with it. So today we're going to discuss etchable glass ceramics and the science behind which cement to use with them. So I think the best place to start, Jeffrey, is just to have you tell us exactly what etchable glass ceramics are. Sure. You know, we're both from the state of Minnesota. Yes, and we've we probably both seen the water crystals grow in a pool of water. And um, analogous to that, if we think of a, a glass as a super cold liquid that's formed by melting raw materials as shown on the left, mm -hmm. Ceramic engineers have learned how to grow crystals in that glass, just like that, those crystals that we observe growing in that pool of water. And the reason that the ceramic engineers do that is by growing these crystals in there, they're able to improve the flexural strength and the fracture oh, toughness of the glassy material. Okay. But they also provide for another enhancement in that they're able to provide for a rough surface for us to get enhanced adhesion to these materials um, through a mechanism called micromechanical adhesion. Um, there's two primary mechanisms or two main mechanisms of adhesion and the first I'll discuss is micromechanical adhesion and that's where you provide for a rough surface and so the cement can kind of interlock with that surface. And that's done by acid etching the glass ceramic. Typically a laboratory or the dentist will etch the um, glass ceramic material with hydrofluoric acid and what that does is that removes the glassy phase in between those crystals and then those crystals are, are standing up and enables us to bond um, and grab onto it. And that's what you see in the image on the right, that really roughened surface right. that's okay. provided um, by the, the etching process. So I've been told that you need to prime the inside of the surface of the crown with silane. So do we really need to do that if there's so much micro-mechanical adhesion available? Mm -hmm. And there's two mechanisms behind uh, applying a primer. They're typically a silane coupling agent. And the first reason is it provides a surface that that cement will wet and oh, flow okay. into those, right. uh, in between those crystals. Okay. But the second mechanism is it provides for chemical adhesion. And I'll explain that here. So if we uh, look at the chemistry of the surface of that etchable glass ceramic. You'll see on the surface, um, it's a silicate glass, and the silica at the surface, um, those sites get uh, reacted with water and they form what's called silanols, S-I-O-H. And uh, a silane coupling agent is a molecule where on one end of it is the silanols, and on the other end of it is a reactive group okay. that can bond into the cement. So what happens is, as you're rubbing um, the primer, and in this case it's Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive, as you're rubbing it onto the surface of that etchable glass ceramic, those silanols from the silane in, in the adhesive will react, react with the silanols on the surface of the etchable glass ceramic. Water molecule will come off and you form a siloxane bond, an SiOSI -S bond. So Jeffrey, I do a lot of zirconia crowns, and with the zirconia crowns I'm using Reliax Unisem 2 cement. So is there a reason, can we use um, the Reliax Unisem 2 with the etchable glass ceramics? You certainly can. Um, you'll need a dedicated uh, silane primer okay. um, for the etchable glass ceramics, such as um, Reliax um, ceramic primer. Um, but when you're doing an etchable glass ceramic case, you're probably doing an aesthetic case. And so with that, um, the Relax Ultimate um, and Scotch Bond Universal yeah. offers inherent nice. fluorescence. It offers a wider variety of shades. It offers try and paste for that um, really fine tuning the nice. aesthetics, and it provides for the highest right. bond strength. That's so, what's so amazing. If you're it. doing a, an etchable glass ceramic case, an aesthetic case, we'd really recommend you use the, okay, the Scotch great. Bond Universal Relax Ultimate. So, is that bond strong enough? Do we have to worry about water contamination or water over time? That's a really good uh, question. Um, when we study that, um, 
And um, as shown here, um, uh, Dr. Martin Rosentritt at the University yeah. of Regensburg um, did a study where we um, aged um, the bond. So what we do is we prepare a sample, we bond a button to it, and then we put it in five degrees C uh, water, and then we move the samples into 55 degrees C water, hot, cold, and we go back and forth um, different cycles for a number of cycles. And then after we've stressed it, we measure the shear bond strength. And what we see here is a very high bond strength after thermal cycling of 40 plus uh, megapascals to two very common etchable glass ceramics, Vita Mark II and Emax. Um, that's evidence that the, the bond is very um, durable okay. um, and hydrothermally Good. stable in the oral environment. Are there other um, published studies that show the performance of Reliax Ultimate Cement? Yes, we have studied our, our cements and our solutions extensively. Some of them are shown here, um, both in vitro studies on the durability of that bond as well as in vivo studies um, showing the durability of the restoration cemented with the, the Scotch Bond Universal and the Relax Ultimate. So now let's do a step-by-step -step procedure of how all to right. uh, cement a crown. So first of all, you want to prepare the tooth you want to make sure it's clean, doesn't have any residual temporary cement um, scanning spray if you're using right, an interoral okay. scanner. Then it's up to you um, if you want to do a total etch or a selective etch. Um, after your etching, make sure you've removed, cleaned all that phosphoric acid away and cleaned the tooth. Now this is really important. With a Scotch Bond Universal, r rub that into the, the tooth for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is really important that there's ethanol as a carrier during that period of time that ethanol is coming off but it's also reacting with the proteins that are in the dentin and the, the adhesive is getting down into the dentinal tubules. Right. You'll want to then um, provide an air dry. You air dry it so that you don't see any waves or, okay. or evidence of it being too thick. You want a nice thin layer and then it's up to you um, if you want to light cure, but if you go ahead and light cure it, that'll give you um, the most immediate um, and highest bond strength. So I usually um, light cure, but is it okay if a dentist chooses not to light cure? Yes, the Scotch Bond Universal, when used in combination with the Relax Ultimate Cement, um, is a dual cure system, okay, that's and both good. Will, that's great. will cure. Um, now, after try-in, the, the crown may be contaminated. Um, with saliva or blood, you want to wipe that out. We recommend using a sodium hypochlorite solution, bleach solution, root canal cleaner. Um, just wipe that in, remove those proteins that may be present, rinse it with water, and then air dry it. Now take your Scotch Bond Universal to that clean surface. Again, rub it in for 20 seconds, and then provide it with an air dry to evaporate that ethanol. We don't recommend light curing the Scotch Bond Universal on the inside okay. of the, the crown. And the reason for that is it may, um, once it's polymerized, it, if there's been any pooling, it may provide a high spot and that prevent the crown from seeding. Now I know a, confusion, uh, a confusing spot right now is there are so many products on the market that claim that you need to use them to clean the inside of the crown. What you're saying is that that is not necessary to use any of those products. All of our studies indicate the simple sodium hypochlorate that um, is wipe so and easy. clean. We know it's something that you've got in your operatory and you don't have to have a dedicated okay. bottle to, to do that. Now let's talk about seeding the crown. I want to emphasize after you've put your uh, static mixer um, on the, the cement syringe, you want to squish a little bit out, make sure the, the mixing is adequate, and then fill the crown about half full. You've done this more than me, so why don't you yeah. talk about your tips and tricks for, for cementing the crown? Well, there's really two ways you can do it. The first way, put the crown in place and then do a quick tack cure of the, of the cement. Now when I say quick, I mean one second, maybe two, because the cement gets very hard. Um, after you do the tack here, clean the cement up, and then go back. Once you make sure all the cement is off, go back and then do a more thorough curing of 20 seconds per surface. The way I prefer to do it, just because sometimes lights differ in how much they cure, is put the crown on, have the patient gently bite down on a cotton roll for maybe 90 seconds or so until that cement hits the gel phase, then it's pretty easy to remove. And again, make sure it's all off before you put that curing light on it. And now do your final cure of 20 seconds per surface. And it's very important that you do complete curing with this cement. 
So let's uh, end with some, some key points about what we discussed okay. today. So uh, Reliant Ultimate Cement is color stable, has tooth-like fluorescence, offers a selection of shades, and matching try-in paste for aesthetic etchable glass ceramic restorations. Um, etchable glass ceramics um, are roughened by the etching, acid etching to provide for that micromechanical yep. uh, adhesion. Um, Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive contains a silane that bonds to the silanols on the surface of that etched glass ceramic for chemical adhesion. Um, use a sodium hypochlorite wipe followed by water rinse and air dry to, to clean that restoration after the try-in. And when using the Relax Ultimate uh, Cement on Scotch Bond Universal, make sure you clean the tooth, remove any residual temporary cement or other contaminants before applying the Scotch Bond Universal. Okay. And finally, the, the highest bond strength in 3M's portfolio of cements is both the tooth structure and to um, the restoration is the two component combination of Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive and Relax Ultimate. And we have um, inherent fluorescence to the cement. We have a variety of shades. Um, we have try-in paste, yeah. um, and it provides for that, that highest bond strength and for your aesthetic restorations. Well, thank you, Jeffrey, for all that valuable information today. Yeah, yeah it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for watching this program. 3M Oral Care promotes lifelong oral wellness by providing inspired, science-based solutions that help dental professionals achieve greater clinical, professional, and personal success. Named most innovative company in the dental industry worldwide for 10 consecutive years, 3M products support dental professionals and their patients to realize optimal outcomes. For even more educational resources, please visit the 3M Healthcare Academy online at 3M.com slash dental education. For technique information and tools, please visit 3M online at 3M.com slash dental cements.